July 22nd and right now it is 11.52 a.m. We're on the freeway. We have all the stuff in the car. We are 84 miles from the destination. We are on our way to Reyes Creek Campground in Maricopa, California. It has 24 generously spaced campsites, ideal for tents, pickup truck, campers, small RVs, and small van conversion camps. It's a shaded streamside campground located at 3,500 feet elevation and it boasts an ample supply of riparian oak and cottonwood trees. The creek area is well shaded and runs year round. Overhead, you may catch a glimpse of red-tailed hawks soaring above the trees and you might get lucky and see a California condor. This place is very famous for hiking, for fishing, and their stream. So I hope that you guys enjoy. This is where we're going, the Reyes Creek Campground. I have some stuff in the front. This is for catching the firewood, some water, and we are on our way. Ears are popping. Reyes Creek Campground, Los Padres National Forest. Hey guys, we have made it and it's very hot today. I think we picked a very hot day to come here. It's definitely over 100 degrees. Happy that I have my hat on, but I just wanna show you guys. We are number 10 right here. self pay bulletin, we already did that, $32 tonight. And you can see we don't have that much shade here. This is a table. There's some open space right here. We set up some chairs right there and this is the fire pit and we have some stuff up there. So I have bought my 200 watt portable power bank station from Supery e with us on this trip. Right now we're trying it. We're charging a little headlamp and a little flashlight right here and you can see it's around 75% charged in. I'm going to charge more stuff so it seems like it's very effective. Those things are charging and we're charging another headlamp, headlamp as well. So yeah, this comes in handy for camping. It is really hot today. It's the middle of July. This spot is first come first served and also reservations. Some of them are online. Unfortunately, we didn't do that when we came a little bit late and this is the spot we got. There is some shade though. There is a little bit of shade on this area right here. Right here is the fire pit and the table which doesn't have any shade but that's okay. This video today, I am working with Super E and I am very happy that they are working with me on this video because I desperately need them when I'm in a camping spirit. So let me tell you about the Super E product. I'm going to get it. It's right there. This is the Super E product. It's a battery that is going to be a lifesaver on this trip. The cool thing about the power box is that it turns on a light. It's very nice and bright. If you click on it again, it has this sparkling effect. And then this, a little bit slower, and it turns off, which is very cool. DC, you can see there's 12V four of those ports and also some USBs. There's two USBs and a QC 18W and a type C. Very convenient. AC as well, electrical outlet and input. So this is very convenient. It is very easy to charge up. You just do it on the input and plug it in to an electrical outlet. AC, you can see the power battery. This one, I filled it up to 100. Spin it around. So nice and compact, a very good size, doesn't pick up much space, and just take it on the go, your little, little emergency friend. It is a 200 watt portable power bank station for outdoor RV emergency backup, and it could be used for other things as well. It is a safe, portable energy storage system. As you can see, it is very small. And it's also super light. This kind of reminds me of like a boom box that you would just carry around. And it is suitable for power scenarios that require mobile use. So I have used it to charge my phone and charge my electronic devices. It's very useful, especially in an emergency situation. It also can be used in combination with solar panels. I don't have solar panels with me, but that's something that is very good to know. And it is widely used in outdoor activities and emergency relief. This has three different charging methods. You can use it for the AC adapter, good for seven to eight hours. You can also use it for a car charger, 14 hours, and also solar charging. Full charging is seven to eight hours, 14 hours if not in effective sunshine. 
Some other things that it is very useful to charge a TV, a notebook, a fan, drone, car refrigerator, car vacuum cleaner, car air pump, LED light, and LED tube. You can also use it for an iPhone charger, iPad Pro, GoPro camera, or a Bluetooth speaker. Some outdoor activities that this would be very useful, the super battery would be for camping, for mountain climbing, hiking, for adventures, travel, fishing, hunting, and business. If you are on an RV, station wagons or yachts, you can also use the super battery. And in emergency situations, it could be helpful if you have like a power outage, typhoon, a hurricane, or an earthquake disaster. Some people, they own night markets or they're part of night markets. The super battery would be very useful for that as well. For example, for night market vendors and street vendors. The super battery is a portable charger that you can use in a lot of different situations. If you want to use it in a remote location, it could be helpful. Camping, any place where you don't have access to a charging station, I'm going to show you more about how useful it is on this trip. We have the pan. Oh, it's really hot. I'm gonna put butter. Put a little bit on here like this. Douse it like that, this back. And then this is a piece of chicken that I'm thinking of having for dinner tonight. But we have our veggies here. Just put some of this stuff. Okay. Put a little bit of mushrooms. <laughs> and some of this. And let's put some eggs on it. Alright, let's try. Let's see what happens. Put it right here. Guys, so you can see what we're working with right now. We have this. And we're seeing what happens. So, yeah. Alright, so it looks like our food is done. We're going to try it out. Our food is ready. We're going to eat. Still charging. Two devices. Doing pretty good. Hey guys, so now it is a little bit later, two hours later, and we found the creek. The water is actually very nice, which is very perfect for such a hot day. Nice breeze too, actually, today. It goes all the way there. And we saw some people like on that side that were playing in the creek, but it's pretty nice. Little waterfall right there. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So now we're just walking around, passing the feed procedure information and regulations. <laughs> Look at that. That's random. Nice. But you could put your money here. We already paid it was $32 for tonight. There's a lot of tents. I think it's like a huge family, but there's a lot of different sites. For example, there's one right there. Just exploring. Hey guys, so I'm just chilling in the chair. Andrew is going into the creek to get a little bit cold because it's such a hot day. Water right here, still a little bit of ice in it. I put some vitamin C, the powder, into it and then melted. But this is what I have so far. And I'll show you guys a little bit of my setup. This is a little table. I had the chair right here, but I moved it because it was getting too hot. There's one chair right there, and you can see portable charger is doing pretty well, charging a lot of different things right now. This is the lantern that we're going to use inside of the tent later. We have our sleeping bag stuff here. In here, we have some white cloth, and in here, food. We have some frozen water, and the eggs, and cucumber, and stuff like that. When you come out, pass. If we have to use the restroom, we're going to use it probably right there. This was where we cooked the food and still a little bit of smoke in this area. Where I was just sitting, some more stuff. And also in here as well, just random miscellaneous things. And right here is our table. There's a creek. Here there's a bathroom and right there is where our neighbors are. Walk here and give you guys a little bit better look here. So, so like right there food back there in the shade and we have this table right here we're thinking the tent could be somewhere right here we're gonna move everything over it is a nice vibe over here i like that it's getting windy the shade is coming on which is nice we're only staying here for one night relaxing and just having a good time I definitely don't think there's a bar and grill here. It was probably decades ago.
good first aid kit. We gauze, have gauze. Blood stop powder. A lot of band-aids. Eye pads. Skin cleaning wipes. For your finger, if you sprain your finger, it's tape. Scissors for cutting the gauze. Those are scissors, right? Scissors. This is a needle? I don't know what that's for. Splinter probe, it says. Where do you get that first aid kit? This is from REI. Oh, REI. There's no more sun? Oh my gosh, there's no more sun now. Fire just started back up again, which is crazy. So, we can make dinner later. But yeah, this is nice. This is what I wanted. Sun was so annoying. Battery so long lasting, it's still at 75%. Charging a Garmin phone, flashlight, and the lantern. So it's doing very well. You know, we're not the only ones camping. Oh, there's a lot of people actually. Aren't you shocked? I am a little bit shocked actually. Hold that like that. What's the eight? Not gonna fly. Oh well. Tent is basically set up. We're going to start cooking. For dinner, we have a cast iron skillet. The first step, take the butter. And we're just going to butter the pan, like so. So it doesn't stick on. I guess I'll try to do the sides as well. All right, that's good, I guess. Put it back in there. And then onions and garlic. Put some garlic and some onions. Okay, that will definitely keep the mosquitoes away. Then we have the piece of chicken, chicken breast. What do you think? Looks good. And then... I approve. Some cut asparagus. Alright. Okay, and I think I'm also going to cut up some potatoes. Oh, look. Okay. I guess I'll just try like one and see what happens. So. Mm, put, put more in there. I'll just cut these up and then they're going to go in the cast iron skillet and then we'll see what happens. I forget what seasoning this is but it's kind of spicy. Oh, the flies like it though. Let's just try it. This is what the progress is like so far. Sizzling. Looks pretty good. The power box is doing pretty well. What's cool is that it even has a little fan right here so we can feel a little bit of coolness. It's still holding up pretty well. It's a little bit less than half but doing solid. Very handy. We have our tent right there and our food. So it has four USB outputs. The AC output which is nice. Your input to the car and then four 12 volt DCs. Those are a little more specialty for computer chargers. Doing really well. Awesome. Look at all of those cords attached to it. Very helpful. We've been using the power battery for a while and I just wanted to give you updates. It just died so it lasted for a very long time. We love that it's a portable solar generator that isn't very loud. It doesn't disrupt other campers. It makes for a quiet environment even though we're charging some stuff. That is a very big plus for us, especially when camping. What is great about it also is that it's very lightweight and compact. You can carry it very easily. It doesn't take up much space, especially if you're camping and you're trying to not bring as much stuff it's perfect overall it's great because it's portable electricity that you can take anywhere especially camping and you don't want to make a lot of noise you want something that's small lightweight and that can charge a lot of things at the same time my phone right now it is charged up a lot you can charge it for flashlights for headlamps so many different things and you can even use it in the car if you're car camping especially in an emergency situation it's very useful even when you're camping overnight and you have lost juice at the end of the night you just plug it in and in the morning you get fresh battery and you don't have to worry about that you feel confident and comfortable that you have things charged up in case of an emergency or out in the wilderness or you don't have instant access to electricity so it's very amazing highly recommend super e the portable charger so i hope that you guys will check it out you can check them out on instagram and you can use my link in the description to get a discount i will leave it in the description and i will have the website and all the links of super e in the down bar so i hope that you guys check it out Food is ready. We're going to eat dinner now. And this is what it looks like 
Ooh, it's fogging up the camera a little bit, but looks good. There is chicken breast in there, potatoes on the left and in the middle, asparagus, onions, and there's also a little bit of garlic in there. Looks pretty good. Let's eat. Mmm, that's actually perfect. Mmm, that's pretty good. Bye bye mosquitoes, bye bye flies. <laughs> Solid, delicious. Mm. Guys, it's looking very beautiful now. You guys can see it. A little bit of the sun there. It's very beautiful. Right now, still a little bit of smoke from dinner and what we did to clean the pans. We rinsed it off in the creek. We wiped it down with paper towels and then we put it on top right here of the grate just to sanitize it and make it clean. And now we have clean pottery. We're just gonna hang out, maybe do a little walk. Just admire the fire. Insects out here are crazy, the flies, the mosquitoes, which is why this is very essential. I have to put this more often. It's a very buggy area. <laughs> right now, I'm just going to have dessert. And dessert is my Luna Bar lemon zest. It's very melted already actually, but that's why it's going to be a very nice snack. Guys, look how beautiful this is. It's beautiful, gorgeous. Just a little hike. So we have to go home up here and I'm wearing sandals. So let's hope that I can do it. We're very high up. You can see the campfires there. I think I also heard them talking. Yeah, I can hear them talking yeah, a can, bit. Yeah. Crickets. Look at the sunset view. I mean, this is like amazing right here. Yeah, look at that sunset. Golden. This is orange and red. Perfect. So wow. It's like a really fun trail. If we went down to the left, like during the day, that, I bet that's an amazing hike. Oh, yeah. Because it goes all the way into the valley. Uh huh. We might do that tomorrow. Okay. Just testing out this light, it's very effective. You can see a lot, it's very wide. Pretty. They look kind of like those candies, like the sour drop candies. Right? Looks beautiful. Good morning, it is the next day. I am all changed. You can see I'm wearing a tank top now and Victoria's Secret pink leggings on. Yesterday, the sleep for me wasn't that great. I mean, it did go nice towards the end of the night, but I kept on having to use the restroom. We slept at around 11 p.m., I think. Right now, it is 8 a.m., so we did get a good amount of sleep, but the first time that I woke up was towards the middle of the night, probably 2 a.m. or something, and I had to use the restroom. When I went outside of the tent, there were so many ants on the floor and on our little rug, on a little floor rug, and it was disastrous didn't feel good getting out of the tent and then there's ants on your feet and ants on your sandals that you're gonna wear to go to the restroom that's why I went on the other side of the tent and it was fine I went to the restroom a second time after that I didn't go anymore so right now yes I'm all changed I'm gonna brush my teeth and we're going to make some food I just have a regular toothbrush and I have this I have these, the facial towelettes, can't clean my face. I looked over to check on you and they were just like... What? The tongue was out, yeah. Mm. It was really cute. What do you think, babe? You want to just get a trailer and just road trip the country with me? Mm. Work remote? A trailer? Yeah, a trailer with a shower? Yes. You That's okay. You want to do that? Mm-hmm. I'd love to do that. 
It's very buggy here, so it's very important to put on insect repellent and also sunscreen because it's getting warm. Right now, I'm going to make some coffees. I just put these in aluminum foil just to protect it. We have one for each of us. These are our two cups. And a good hack also, just regarding the bug situation, is burning sage all around your campsite and also burnt coffee grounds. You can see right there, it's heating up. So this is from Coffeeco. So this one's dark, medium, and we have light, and here's some sugar packets. Which one do you want? This one or that one? I think dark. No, this one. You can just open it up. We have a trash can right here. Maybe more. Any sugar? Nope. Now put one medium and one light. You're going double on yours? I guess. Yep. Like that. And I love sugar, so I'm going to put some packets of sugar. Ready? Almost. Packets of sugar. Alright, put that back in my bag. You can see it's heating up there. And this is the insect repellent that we're using. This one is the picaridin insect repellent. This is the lotion form. Lotion form would be more effective and stays longer than the spray. This is the spray pump version of that. But this is a very good brand. I've used it a couple of times for other camping trips and hiking, and it's pretty good. And also sunscreen. I also get lazy when I use lotion version of sunscreen, but the spray is just very easy. All right, so just waiting for the coffee now. Careful, it's very hot. Let it cool down a bit. That'll work. Use that. Put the coffee in there. Mmm, perfect. Awesome, copy time. Crazy, what is it, like 9 in the morning and it's already like 90. I liked it a lot better when it was cool. It's time to cook. This, I kept it cool in the cooler. It's actually still pretty cold. What I did was I put a lot of water bottles in the freezer, just lining it up into the cooler, and that was great because that's like huge blocks of ice. Basically, ice water bottles are blocks of ice, and it kept everything cool. So I have everything here. I'm just going to put it into the skillet. This is the cast iron skillet that we used yesterday for dinner. From yesterday, I have leftover mushrooms and lettuce, and still pretty cold. But first, let me put some butter. Have this. I'm gonna line the skillet with butter. Line it well because then it won't stick as much. Butter the pan. Then I'm going to put these in there. That in there. Put in the rest of the eggs. And this was also a strategy that I learned online. For eggs, you just put it into a water bottle. So you don't need to bring whole eggs. I'm just gonna line it all around there. Okay, that's basically it. I'm gonna put some sauce as well, some salt and pepper in it. We're also going to put a little bit more spicy seasoning. Basically, we're going to put this over the heat and we'll have breakfast this morning. All right, ready? Ready? Mm -hmm.
quickly I realized that I still have three potatoes, so I'm going to just chop them up real quick, throw that in there. Okay, it's ready? No bueno, almost ready. Definitely helps too. Keeps yep. the heat in. You have everything put inside. You can see the potatoes in there. Excited to eat. Food is ready. We can even hear it sizzling still. Looks good. Time to eat. Almost done taking the tent down. We have the chairs, the fire pit, and the view. This has been a very fun trip. Cons are that it's pretty buggy. It's really hot. You can see I have a lot of sunblock on and bug spray. But overall, this was a very peaceful trip. Very serene, very private. And I really enjoyed trying Subri on this trip. They were so reliable and so helpful. I was able to charge a lot of things that I needed to charge. So overall, I really liked staying here at Reyes Creek. Maybe we'll come back. I'm not sure. Maybe when it's not as hot because it's so hot today and yesterday. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you will have an amazing day. Check out Supri. Link will be in the description. You won't regret it. Especially in a camping situation or any situation where you don't have a chargeable area. Thank you guys and I'll see you next time.